today we're going to be going over all of these fragrances. These are the newest, most buzzed about fragrances right now. There's been so many new launches lately. We've got perfumes, fragrance mists, all sorts of different price points, so let's go ahead and get into it. Today's video is actually sponsored by Joma Shop, which is actually one of my favorite places to get perfumes, especially some of the more expensive ones, because if you know me, you know I love a deal. I do not like to pay full price, and I'm sure you guys don't like to either, and Joma Shop always has tons of different options for designer, even some niche fragrances at a fraction of the cost. So I always recommend checking their website first when you're looking for a new fragrance. Of course, they don't carry every single brand, but they have a lot on there. You'd be surprised, and you can always save a little money through them. Everything that I have ordered from them has always been 100% authentic. You guys know I'm pretty familiar with my perfumes and I've ordered quite a bit on Joma Shop already. They're actually running a huge summer fragrance sale right now, so you're going to get even more savings. They're running up to 75% off on some iconic designer and niche brands. They have over a thousand different perfumes and colognes to choose from, and I wanted to highlight just a couple today, and I thought we would throw in something a little different, and today I'm actually going to recommend two colognes. Now the rest of my video is going to be more perfumes for women, but I wanted to talk about these as well because a lot of you guys asked me for my men's recommendations and my husband, he loves cologne as well. Clearly my husband has a favorite brand and that is YSL. This is a little bit of his YSL collection. You can tell they're all very used and adored. His favorite of all is probably the YSL Y. This is the EDP version. They have a bunch of different versions of YSL Y depending on the strength that you like. So like, of course, he has this, which is the EDT, I believe. So it's not as long lasting as the EDP would be. But oh my gosh, this has been his signature for such a long time. I absolutely love it on him. And I feel like it's a very, very popular men's fragrance. It's sold a lot on Ulta, Sephora, but you can get it for a much cheaper price on Joma Shop. This is a 3.3 ounce. They also have a really good price on the one ounce if you just want to try it out. I'm definitely not the best when it comes to describing men's fragrance. I'm definitely more of an expert when it comes to the women's, but I absolutely love this so much on him. I would put this more in like the fresh, it's not like super spicy, it's more of that fresh aquatic that I just love. This has notes of apple, ginger, bergamot to give it that kind of bright freshness. Middle notes of sage, juniper berries, and geranium, and base notes of amberwood, tonka bean, cedar, vetiver, and then olibanum, which I'm not familiar with that note, but yes this has been his signature and my favorite on him for many years now but we might have a new favorite because we also got to try out the creed aventus which this is definitely more niche it's a more higher end kind of brand but wow 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 i can totally tell a difference in scent quality because this lingers like even when my husband will spray this in the morning in the bathroom that scent will be lingering in the air all day, and this smells so good. I know this is one of Creed's best sellers, and their fragrances can retail for upwards of $300 or more. Definitely a lot cheaper on Joma Shop. This one maybe is a little bit spicier than the YSL. So the Creed definitely has a little bit of a similar vibe to the YSL, but this is like way sexier, like way more beast mode. I am so impressed with this, and I think he's going to be wearing this one a lot more. It seriously lasts all day, and I, I think it just shocked me how it just lingers in the air, even in my house too. If you want to check these out and also check out Joma Shop's summer sale, I'm actually going to have them linked on YouTube shopping, so you could shop right from the video and also see what else they have for the summer sale, because they have so many different brands, like Bond Number no. 9, Zerjoff, they have Mansera, the list goes on and on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the video with these perfumes that are from Lucky Scent. They sent me over some of their new ones, and I also purchased this one too but my lucky scent code changed I guess if it gets shared on websites they have to change the code so now it's Leah Janae 10 
try not to put it on any websites, but you guys can feel free to use that for 10% off on their website. I love finding a ton of my more niche, hard to find gourmands on there. But they actually sent over a couple of scents. Let's start with this one. This is from the brand Acro, which I usually really like their fragrances. They make the Acro Bake, which is that really popular lemon scent, and they also have Rise, which is another really good one. And they came out with a scent called Smile. So it's supposed to basically bring joy and happiness and just be an all around fun fun scent. Now, I do like fruity scents here and there, but I kind of wish this one was a little bit more sweeter because it's not like super sweet. It's definitely very fresh and fruity though. It actually smells exactly like a raspberry iced tea. It's a little bit more sour than sweet in my opinion. It has that tartness that almost gives me sour candy vibes. But yeah, it's really pretty. It's just not one that would be in like my top must-haves. I probably wouldn't go out on my way to buy this myself. I'm just like very much into the gourmands as you guys know and this one's just a little bit more out of my comfort zone. If I was going for more of a fruity scent, I personally would pick um, Narcotica's Narco Oasis. That's definitely more my vibe, which I did do a video on that with my summer favorite perfumes. That's kind of what I like for more fruity scents and this one, it's fine. I think it lasts really well on the skin. It's not the strongest in power, but I find that it lasts all day. I actually heard that the um, designer of Acro Scents, he made this for his daughter, um, and it used to be like her private scent, but then they decided to go ahead and put it out, and that is a Smile. So this one has top notes of bergamot, middle notes of raspberry, and clary sage, base notes of musk. So overall, it's pretty simple. But honestly, just think of a raspberry iced tea. That's exactly what you get with this. If that sounds good to you, then I think you're going to love this one. If you want something that's good to wear in the hot weather that's not too sweet and not overbearing. This next scent was also gifted from Lucky Scent, and it is Creme Brulee from Theodorus Calotinus, I think is how you say it. This perfumer is very well known for their gourmands. They have a lot of really fun ones. I think they make like a pear gelato scent. They have a lot in their lineup but I was definitely most intrigued by creme brulee and this is one of their newest launches so I actually really like this this is definitely a gourmand lovers dream for sure and I feel like it works so good for summer I get so much caramel and coconut with this one. Oh my word I feel like if you guys like Sol de Janeiro number 71 which is my favorite. I feel like you guys are going to love this. This doesn't necessarily remind me of creme brulee. When I think of a creme brulee scent, I think Escapade Gourmand is closer. That one smells like the burnt top of a creme brulee. This one is just more coconut and caramel, which I'm totally okay with. I think it smells unique to my collection. I think it smells so delicious. It is so sweet and it literally smells edible, which is what I want from a gourmand. This one is strong and it actually lasts really well too. I am so impressed with this one. This one has notes of coconut milk, vanilla, whipped cream, and burnt sugar, but I totally get like the caramel. There is a little bit of a burnt sugar aspect in here and the coconut milk. It is absolutely delicious and I love that it has the coconut in there to kind of make it a little more summery, a little more tropical, so it's not just like Escapade Gourmand 2.0. I think it's definitely different and this is so yummy. This next one from Lucky Scent I purchased myself so you know I'm obviously going to like it since I did buy it. This is a new launch from Hilda Soliani and they make a ton of just like yummy gourmand scents. They definitely specialize in the gourmands and this is their Zucchero fragrance which I think means sugar and it really smells to me like cotton candy. Ugh, it is so good. Other people say it smells like Fruit Loops, but it's just like so dang sweet and yummy, but not too overbearing. I still feel like it works for summer because it has a little bit of that fruitiness in there that I almost get a little maybe lemon going on with the cotton candy. And I will tell you, this reminds me a lot of Aqualina's Pink Sugar Perfume which is super popular, but Pink Sugar kind of has this like artificial burnt 
smell to it that can be definitely a little bit of a turn off where this does not have that to it. So I feel like this is a much better version of Pink Sugar. Yes, it's more expensive, of course, but I like that this has a little fruity twist. But if you love Pink Sugar, you're definitely going to like this one as well. It smells so yummy. And I think it's a really yummy, fruity gourmand that you can wear in the summertime. It actually is really strong and has great longevity as well. Another one that really, really impressed me. This one really does not have many notes listed. I know there's something else in here, but on the website, it just says that Zucchero is a pure, sweet, fluffy cloud of pure sugar. But there's definitely some like type of fruity sweetness in here too, but it's really yummy. All right, next let's talk about this one because I feel like this has been getting some hype lately. This is Commodities Juice Perfume, and Commodity has not done a new scent in a while, so I was pretty excited when I heard they were coming out with this juice perfume because the promo for it looked really good. They were showing like strawberry and all this stuff, so I was hoping for like a really yummy, sweet, sugary juice but I feel like it did not live up to the hype for me and perfume is just very subjective and I'm always honest when it comes to my fragrance reviews which I feel like a lot of fragrance influencers, especially on TikTok, they aren't always honest about if they actually like a scent. I feel like they're always saying that they like everything and I'm like that's not possible though. Like I still want to hear, like I know you're trying to be nice to the brands and all but I still want to hear if you personally don't like something and why. I think that is so important and it just gets lost a lot I feel like in that space. Um, um, and so I feel like when I come on there and do my reviews and maybe I don't really like it, the brand sees it and then I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I do disappoint them a little bit but I feel like brands need to know like not everyone is going to like everything and hey, maybe they're going to kick me off PR. I am grateful that they did send this my way but it just wasn't for me. I just, I wish people would be more honest without worrying about brands kicking them off a PR list and whatnot. Anyways, Commodity Juice, this to me is just so much more rosy than I was expecting. It's like a sweet but like really jammy rose type of scent. I wanted like a yummy juicy perfume for summer but I was just not expecting a floral, you know? It just did not really live up to what I was wanting from this one. A lot of people are comparing this one to Mugler's Angel Nova, which I definitely see those comparisons. There's maybe a little bit of strawberry in here, but it's not a lot. The rose definitely overpowers. Now, this is just their expressive version. With Commodity, they always come out with three versions. There's like a personal, the middle, which this one's the middle, and then they have the bold, which is going to be like the strongest. I always go for the middle one. So, there's a couple of Little tweaks here and there but I'm just mainly reviewing this one here but all three of them do smell pretty similar there may just be a couple different notes but the juice expressive this one has top notes of raspberry and strawberry middle notes of Bulgarian rose and cyclamen base notes of rhubarb and amberwood so yeah it's definitely more of like a sweet floral but it's not super duper sweet where it's too cloying it's definitely still a little more on the tart side in my opinion but Again, this is one, like, if I was going to purchase it with my own money, it's probably one that I would pass on. Next one, I have a little size here. Now, I actually spilled some of this, so that's why it looks like I've used up quite a bit. But this is a new launch from the brand Define Me. I feel like they're not as well known, but you may know them from their Barbie perfume that they came out with last year. That went pretty viral. Um, but they actually came out with a new scent called Lala Wu, and... I saw some reviews on it and it sounded so incredible. It sounded right up my alley, but it definitely was a, it was a little different than what I was expecting. I feel like all Define Me scents are a little more on the natural and more fresh side of things. I feel like they never really make super deep, strong scents just based off of what I've noticed from trying a few of their scents. Now, I don't think that this is bad at all. I think it's a great perfume for summer, but what got me excited is because it has notes of like almond milk and pistachio, and you guys know how much I love those kind of perfumes. So I was just expecting for something a little bit more warm, a little stronger, but I mean it's still nice. It's just like a fresh take on a yummy pistachio perfume. They did send me like a little size, so I don't know if it is coming in a full size, but yeah right now it looks like they just have a travel spray. The notes are pistachio, marzipan, 
toasted praline, almond milk, caramel, cream liqueur, and vanilla bean, which that is speaking to me. Like, those are my notes, but I just expected for those notes for this to be a little more bold, I guess, but it's kind of like a light version of that. I smell like Maybe a light, milky pistachio is basically what I'm getting from this. A little marzipan in there as well, but I would love that note to be brought out a little bit more. But that's just what I have found from this brand. A lot of their scents just seem to be on the lighter side. And so many people were raving about it. And I was just kind of like taken aback or just a little bit surprised because... It's nice, but I wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10, you know? To me, this is giving more fragrance mist than perfume, in my opinion. Okay, let's talk about one that I love, because I feel like I'm getting a little too negative here, but Fleur released their Vanilla Skin Now in a Perfume, and I am so pumped about this. I love it. I love it so much. It does smell pretty much like the mist but amped up a little bit more and it lasts so long in the skin like usually fleur scents do not last the longest i can get like maybe four hours or so this one i can get like eight hours like it is pretty strong and i think it's because it has a little bit of a more woody base to it so it is a little bit more of a woody vanilla but not overly so for you guys that love bath and body works bonfire bash i know you guys ask for that one back all the time this literally smells like bonfire bash like it is basically that in a stronger perfume form or if you guys like bare vanilla from victoria's secret this is like the grown-up version of bare vanilla but i still get so much of the yummy vanilla deliciousness but you just have to keep in mind there is a little bit there's almost like a little bit of a toastiness in there kind of like you're at a little campfire but it's not over the top like how replicas by the fireplace is there's just a little bit of that in there like bonfire bash so if you guys like that one you're definitely going to love this the mist is great too like the mist honestly lasts a long time it's a little cheaper too i'll link both for you um in the description box and in youtube shopping but i love that they made a perfume of this because it does last longer but uh, i love this so much it's so good so i tried out the brand noise they sent me one of their perfumes in a full size and they also sent me a little sampler set now this is a new brand that is at Ulta now so you can shop it in stores I was pretty excited they let me pick a scent out so based on the notes I picked love club that was a mistake because this is not a favorite for me it's so oh my gosh it's like so woody smelling cannot say it it's probably my least favorite of the line but it had a base note of marshmallow and that's why I picked this but no you do not get the marshmallow in this this is such a heavy sandalwood type of scent it's just not my vibe oh my gosh i'm looking at this on ulta and it also has bad reviews <laughs> people aren't really liking it as much but i feel like again this is another brand that got so much hype on tiktok because it was new i just i don't i don't see the hype in this one anyways the top notes of this one are saffron there's some pepper in there italian mandarin and bergamot middle notes of tuscan leather the leather's really strong in this turkish pink rose wild raspberry and violet in the base of whipped marshmallow ebony woods and patchouli it's not for me, it's not for me, but I will tell you my favorite from their line is actually called Unmute. And I wish I had asked for this one in the full size. I feel like this one is pretty strong. It's a little bit more sweet, candy-like, but it's still, it's still not a love because there's still like this heavy floral going on in here but my favorite of the four is definitely unmute something about this line i just don't love it kind of reminds me of the charlotte tilbury scents those were just not for me <laughs> they were a little out there it's just not my taste the top notes of unmute include indonesian cassia black plum clary sage there's cinnamon and pistachio in it middle notes of cashmere woods and base notes of madagascar vanilla and crisp amber yeah, it's definitely the sweetest of the bunch, but there's still definitely that amber and incense note it's in here that I just don't really vibe with. So the whole brain in general, it just wasn't really for me. Let me know if you guys tried it and what your thoughts are, but I don't know. I just can't get behind many of the scents. So I was on a little bit of a perfume buying kick with all the new launches at Sephora, and I decided to buy the new Love Shock Fancy perfume, which I really like their perfume bottles. They're beautiful. They have these beautiful little bows on them. I like their pink one a lot, but I will say they definitely don't last very long for being $100 perfumes, which I don't know. Longevity doesn't always bother me, but I feel like for $100, 
you should at least get like four to six hours of wear but I don't know I decided to pick up this one it's their endless dreams perfume I've heard that people were really liking it so I'm like okay let me let me try this one and to me I don't know I just feel like this is very basic I do get a little bit of fruitiness, fruity florals. A lot of their perfumes are a little more on the floral side. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it in the first place. That's why I picked up a smaller little sampler size. But yeah, it's not for me. Their pink one, definitely I like the best. It's more of that bubblegummy tuberose. But the whole brand in general, I do feel like it's a bit overpriced. I feel like you're paying for the cutesy bottles. I couldn't find all the notes, but this said that the key notes were strawberry, jasmine, and vanilla, so I was kind of hoping for a little bit of a fruity, sweet vanilla type of scent, but I do get a lot of the jasmine in this one. It's just not, not a favorite. I definitely would not buy in full size. I have a few new fragrance mists I also want to share. So Kopari actually came out with their first line of fragrance mists, and honestly, I am so excited about these. I did do a little short review on my Instagram, so you guys might have seen it already. But I have to include on here too, because I really do like these. I think they're really good, especially if you can get a little discount on them, because they are a little bit pricey. But I thought the quality was nice. It definitely reminded me of a similar quality to Sol de Janeiro, or maybe even a little bit better. But I really love their Seychelles Sands one. This is their Creamy Vanilla and Musk. I feel like this one's been hit miss though I've seen some people kind of dragging this one but I like this a lot because it reminded me a lot of Skylar's um, boardwalk delight which is that yummy fresh cotton candy scent and that's what this really is giving me it's like that a little bit but a little bit more vanilla it still has that freshness from the must that's included but I think it smells so good. If you guys do want to pick these up, they actually have a really good deal on a set of four minis, which this is the mini size. I would recommend getting this set. Um, I do have a discount code with them. I think it's Leah15Off. I'll have it in the description box so you know exactly what the discount code is, but you can get a pretty good deal on the set, um, which definitely always recommend trying before that you buy, so you don't buy all full sizes if you don't like any of the scents, but... This one seems to be a little polarizing from what I've seen in other reviews, but this is actually my favorite one of all four, and I think it is so good, especially if you guys like Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. This is supposed to be the same scent that's in their Golden Aura body oil, but it's way, way, way stronger in the fragrance mist. My second favorite is the coconut. This one is Canopoly Coast. It has coconut milk and vanilla, and this one has a little bit of a kind of sunscreeny, yummy coconut scent. It starts off a little more of that sunscreen note, but I feel like it dries down more edible and sweeter, like almost to the same effect as Sol de Janeiro's coconut scent that they discontinued that everyone wants back. So yeah, I really like the dry down a little bit more on this one, but if you like that kind of beachy sunscreen coconut scent, I think you'll really like this one. It is so tropical and so summery. Okay, my third favorite, this is the Malibu Peach. It has jasmine and white peach in the notes and it is so yummy. I love a good peach scent in the spring and summer. And I really like that this one's really juicy and it's not too floral. Sometimes they make a floral peach and it's like way too floral. I don't really love it. I hate when they do the honeysuckle and the peach together. This one's just like lightly floral, but I get most of the yummy, juicy peach. So this one has definitely been a hit. Those are my personal must-haves. The only one I didn't really care for is this one, which is why I have a small size. This is the Marbella Bloom. It has bergamot, neroli, and white flowers. It's not bad, but is this not my taste? It's very floral, definitely beachy, but I like a beachy coconut, and this is beachy floral, so it's not really my favorite. I think you can pass on it, but again, I definitely recommend that little set that you can try them all out, and then if you really fall in love with one and use one up, then hey, go ahead and buy a full size. Hopefully, 
these will be permanent i think they just went into ulta as well but i do have that exclusive coupon with kopari that you guys can use it does not work on ulta and you'll get the best price on the kopari website so that will be linked down below i am so impressed with those mists they are so good in my opinion okay lastly i did pick these mists up as well this one's missing a lid just ignore that but the brand nest came out with body mist to match their body oils um they do have some perfumes as well in their line but they only had the perfume body oils in these particular scents and these were my favorite the balinese coconut and madagascar vanilla i do own the perfume oils in those and i really really love them so i thought it was so fun that they also did mist in them and i definitely think they're pretty true i would say here's the thing with these though i feel like they're a little bit similar they're both kind of coconutty sweet vanilla fragrances my favorite is probably Balinese coconut and it does smell like the oil from them, which I really love. It's that yummy, slightly toasted coconut scent. And then the Madagascar vanilla is also like a coconut and vanilla. So I feel like these are too similar maybe to have both. I think, yeah, the Balinese coconut is definitely my favorite, but... I don't know. I wasn't like obsessed with these. I feel like maybe because I already have the perfume oils, even though like these are nice to kind of layer with them. I think for scents in general, I do prefer the ones that Kopari came out with over these Nest ones. Just in general, I thought that they were better. I think these are fine as well and they definitely go really well with the oils. But scent wise, I don't think they're anything too special. I think if you're going to get one, just get the Bonnie's Coconut. That one seems to be my favorite of the bunch. But they do have a couple other sense in their line too so that's kind of my roundup of all of these new fragrances i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to check out joma shop's summer sale again you can shop through youtube shopping with joma shop which is so exciting they have so many different scents to choose from at amazing prices but i'm gonna let you guys go and i'll see you in my next video bye guys